Hey everyone, today we'll be talking about one of the graphic user interfaces provided by Python, Tinkter. It is a standard Python interface to the TK GUI toolkit shipped with Python. Now what is TK? TK is a free and open source widget toolkit. It provides a library of widgets for building a graphical user interface in many programming languages. But now since we are working with Python, we have Tinkter module. TK has a cross-platform operating system and it is written in C. Now to install Tinkter, you can run pip install Tinkter. You will write pip install Tinkter in the terminal and you'll be good to go. Please note that if you're working with Python 2, it is Tinkter, the T is capital. And if you're working with Python 3, it is Tinkter, the T is in lowercase. Uh, the spelling is the same, it's just the difference of the cases. Now to create any Tinkter app, you would basically be following these four steps. You'll be importing the Tinkter module. You'll create the main window. Now windows are the containers in which all other GUI elements live. Now what are these other GUI elements? These are widgets. Widgets can be text boxes, labels, buttons, etc. We'll be making each one of them in the upcoming videos. Widgets are contained inside of windows. Okay. And that's what the third step is. You'll be adding these widgets to the main window. You can add any number of widgets to the main window. Then you'll call in the main loop method. It is used when your application is ready to run. It is an infinite loop. Main loop is an infinite loop used to run the application. Wait for an event to occur and process the event as long as the window is not closed. Okay. We also have geometry managers, namely the pack, grid, and place. Pack is very much used, but we would not talk about them right now. We would talk about them later. Right now, we would try to get the tincter window, the master window that we just talked about above. I will write the least code to make the window appear. Let's do that. I'll import tincter. I'll write import tincter. I'll have my window, the window I was talking about, in the second step. And uh, I'll write win equals tinkter.tk. Fine. Now, tk can have a lot of arguments. So the screen name sets the display event. Base name sets the profile file by default. It is derived from the program name. Okay. Now, class name, it is the name of the widget that is currently used, widget class. It is tk here, okay. Then we have use tk. If it is true, it initializes tk subsystem. We have sync. It is used for debugging basically. It executes all X server commands synchronously. Then we have use, which specifies ID of the window for the application. Now these all arguments might not make sense to you right now, but once we start making big applications with Tinkter, you'll get the use of them. Okay. Now I'll write win dot main loop and uh, I have called in the main loop. I told you I won't be making any widget right now. I have skipped the third step and called in the main loop. Okay. Now let's run this and see if we can get the window. So I can see the window that I declared. You can even resize it. This logo is of TK software. If you search on the internet about TK, you'll see this logo. You can also add in a title to this. Let's do that. I'll write win.title. I'll give the title my first thing term window. Now you can see the title appearing. It's my first thing term window. It was TK here earlier. Now, after this, we start making Tinkter applications, but in the next video, we would talk about some Tinkter modules. Tinkter is very easy to work with, and with a very less amount of code, you can achieve a lot. So, the upcoming videos would be very helpful for you. Thank you.